this video I'm going to show you how to make a dry and spicy version of chili chicken which is a really easy to make and comforting dish with an explosion of umami flavor that can be for everyone's go-to meal. Hi, I am Puffs. Welcome to Puffs Kitchen. Let's get started. To make this dish we need boneless chicken. I'm using chicken breast. You can use tenderloin or boneless thigh. As you can see the pieces of the chicken breast are quite big so I'm going to cut it up to bite size. Like this it takes less time to cook and fry. I have finished cutting it. Now I'm going to put it into a bowl and marinate it. To marinate I'm using these lovely spices to tenderize and give a spicy kick to the meat which makes the dish very flavorful and amazing looking. First I'm adding in salt, red chili powder, paprika for color, 5 spices for aroma, garlic powder, light soya sauce to enhance the umami flavor and its saltiness, lemon juice for the citrusy and freshness, baking powder to tenderize the meat and one whole egg. Now I am giving a very good mix until the meat coats with the spices evenly. The meat is coated well. Now add in the cornstarch and the all-purpose flour. Mix them very well until the flour dissolves in and again the meat gets coated. The coating shouldn't be too runny or thick, just the right consistency we need that you can see here. If the butter become thick then add in 1 or 2 tablespoons of water and mix to get the consistency it requires, like this. Ok, my chicken is coated well. Cover with the plate or any lid that you have and let it marinate for 15 to 30 minutes. Next, while the meat is resting to marinate, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm chopping up red pepper in bite sized pieces. As you can see, I'm cutting in a triangle shape, but you can chop in any shape you like. Green pepper as well in triangle shape, and red onion too. Spring onion cut in 1.5 inch strips. Slice the garlic. And dry chilies, cut them into pieces first. Separate it from the seeds and set aside. If you prefer less chilies then use for your taste. I have finished chopping them along with I am using some tomato ketchup to make it sweet and shiny, soya sauce, some salt to taste and crushed black pepper. Now 30 minutes have passed, let's check the meat. It's looking good. Give a light mix again and bring to fry. To fry, I am heating vegetable oil over a medium flame. To check if the oil is heated enough, you can use chopsticks and when you see the oil bubbles around the chopstick, then the oil should be ready. Now add in the chicken pieces one by one. Do not overcrowd it. I am frying in two batches but it always depends on the size of your pan. First couple of minutes let it fry without tossing them so the meat coating doesn't fall off. After 2 to 3 minutes, fry it, turning them over like this. To cook the meat properly, it takes around 8 to 10 minutes. To adjust the heat, keep on medium low flame. Never on high heat in this stage. We want well cooked meat with nice golden color. It looks really good and turning to a nice color. Now the first batch is ready. Remove to a plate. Now the second batch. 
Now the second base is The second base is also ready Looks delicious but it doesn't have a crispy skin yet so let's do a second fry. To fry the second time, the oil needs to be well heated so the heat should be around medium high and wait until the oil gets hot properly. The oil is hot, add it all the fried meat. Now straight away start turning them over to not to burn and to make it crispy evenly. Turning like this fry it for 1 minute and if needed adjust the heat. It's ready now. Transfer into a plate again. It became very crispy. Can you hear the sound? You can enjoy just like this if you want to but we are going to make it more delicious. So I have here a pan heated over a medium flame. Add in about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil and sliced garlic. Stir it for 20 seconds until the aroma releases. Now onion. Stir it for 30 seconds. Add in dried chilies. Stir it and fry it for 1 minute to infuse the aroma. Next green and red peppers. Stir them. and add in a pinch of salt. Mix it well. Now I'm adding in all the fried chicken, soya sauce, black pepper and ketchup to give the sweetness and to make the dish shiny. Give a very good mix to combine everything well for about a minute. After mixing it, you can see the dish looks shiny and delicious. I'm making a dry version. If you like to make it with gravy, then add in 1 tablespoon of cornstarch plus 4 tablespoons of water mix and also a 1 third cup of water. Then combine them very well to thicken about 1 to 2 minutes. Next, spring onion. Give a good mix. The meat is already cooked so it just needs to combine and fry it well with the spices and the vegetable to stay intact with the flavors. It's ready now, this out. The dish is amazing and appetizing. It is spicy, sweet, sour and has an explosion of umami flavor. The spiciness you can adjust to your taste. Enjoy with hot fried rice or noodles, it's so delicious. I hope you like this recipe, if you do so try them out and share with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.